Welcome to Canada! guys, Josh here from Game Hunters R Us here with another Game and Grabs video for you guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. This is over the past uh, week or I guess since the last pickup video slash Game and Grabs video. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, first I'm going to stop up, start with something that's not gaming related but it is video and DVD related. Um, so I kind of want to show it to you guys, especially if you guys like DVDs. Um, I found this at A Value Village for $6 and I know it's worth more than $6 so I had to grab it. I know it's hard to believe what DVD could be worth more than $6. This one is. Um, it is uh, Seven Samurai. Uh, the movie is by Akira Kor Kurosawa. Kurosawa. Um, this is in the top 10 of greatest or greatest films ever made. Um, so I saw it sitting there and I couldn't really leave it there. Uh, especially since it is like the collector's edition came with like the book and stuff like that. Uh, it's part of the Criterion Collection, if you didn't know. Um, but anyways, uh, this is an epic movie. It run time of 3 hours and 27 minutes, I think like that. Um, pretty epic movie. Um, and uh, if you, the Magnificent Seven Western is actually based off of this movie. Uh, but this one is supposedly even better. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, I need to block off about 4 hours to watch it. But I will do that at some point, whether you're interested or not. But anyways. If you ever see this movie sitting around for really cheap, maybe you should pick it up if you're interested in black and white Japanese movies. Uh, should be pretty interesting. I really look forward to actually watching that once school is over. Um, so I'm going to go backwards. That was like the last thing I found. I'm going to find the second last thing that I just found. I um, went to a um, Value Village um, and I picked these up. I picked up a, uh, an extra PSP uh, charging cord. This is only like three bucks, so I figured I'd pick it up. I always find, like, there's always PSPs on Kijiji or Craigslist that uh, don't have power cords. So I figured for like three bucks I'd pick that up. And if I can find a cheap PSP, I can pick that up as well and maybe resell it or give it away to someone who wants it. Uh, you can't really go wrong with that. Um, and this, I used uh, my 30% uh, off coupon for these as well, so I didn't really spend, I didn't actually spend $3 on that. I spent like 30% of that off. That sounds really confusing. But anyways, I hope you understand what I mean. 30% off my entire purchase, including including the next two games I'm going to show you. Um, I saw this game. Actually, it was the first thing I saw, and it is Kirby's Epic Yarn. Um, I have actually never played a Kirby game in my life, uh, so I'm really looking forward to actually playing this, especially on the Wii. I hear this one's pretty good. It is complete, in good shape. So, uh, heck, why not? And this was, only, like, they mark all new games for $10. Uh, but again, 30% off coupon, so I kind of had to grab that one. Um, and I didn't want to just use my 30% off coupon on a Wii game and a power cord, so I looked around and I also found uh, SOCOM US Navy SEALs Fireteam Bravo 2 on the PSP. Uh, this was $4 and then 30% off that as well. Um, it is complete. It actually has two sets of, it has two manuals and another like um, cover for it. So there it is, there's like two manuals, that manual and that manual. And I know some people might be saying it's French, but this one actually is like, it has some English in it too. I don't know, it's kind of confused, but it has like a second cover art in it as well. Go figure. Uh, so if you're short of cover art or manual, let me know. Um, that one close, whatever. Um, so that was it. I thought that was a pretty good find for, uh, for that day. Uh, but nothing compared to what I found uh, the very first day I went out this week. Um, at, like My past few pickup videos have been kind of sparse, nothing that great. Um, my last video I had to you know, break down and go to EB Games. Even though I, did find, I found awesome games there, it wasn't a thrifting like I like to do. Um, so I figured, you know what, it, I'm due to find some good stuff at a thrift store. And man, was I lucky to find this stuff. Um, I found some GameCube games, which is amazing in itself, but these games are even better. Um, first I picked up uh, Hulk on GameCube, uh, it still has stickers all over it, I gotta clean it up still. 
Uh, but it is complete. It's in good shape. So, figured grab that. I don't have it. And uh, the next one is Dragon Ball Z Sagas. Also complete. Another one to add in the collection. I'm not entirely interested in Black Dragon Ball Z, uh, but I figure I could use it for trade or something or just have it in my collection. It can just sit and look nice. Um, GameCube is like the one system I make an exception for where I will buy filler titles for. Um, but I mean, if someone's really interested in it, I would be willing to let it go. Um, this one was really cool actually. I found Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix, um, which is really random. I couldn't. I looked everywhere for the for the dance mat, but I couldn't find it. Uh, but anyways, I have that one, and you can still play this with the controller, I believe, even though it's not really DDR at that point. Um, but that one is also complete. Uh, again, not a game you ever think you'd find out in the wild, but I did. Um, I know Business 17 found like a complete copy, like in box with the mat and everything like that, for like 10 bucks or something. It was ridiculous. Um, Anyways, but I figured that was a good deal. Pick it up for that. And this next game I'm the most excited about is a huge game to cross off the GameCube list. Again, a game I'd never ever think I'd find in the wild, especially not for a cheap one. I did find this out in the wild once before, but they wanted $35 for it, which isn't even thrift store prices. But I actually found this at thrift store price and was awesome. And that is Super Smash Brothers Melee. Um, awesome, awesome game. I'm not very good at it, actually. I really suck at it. Uh, especially when I play against my friends, I get destroyed and owned. Um, but uh, again, a game I really have been wanting for the GameCube collection. I still need to find a Mario Kart game, Mario Kart Double Dash. Um, anyways, there it is, complete. Um, and normally, at, this was all at the Goodwill, and normally at the Goodwill they charge uh, $5 for all of their games. Uh, but when I took these up to the front, um, she only charged me $4 a piece, so 16 bucks for all those. Uh, I couldn't really go wrong at all. Uh, really happy about that. So essentially I only spent like $30 this week uh, and got all this crazy stuff. So really excited. Now I can add this all back into my collection and make it even better. Um, so that is it. That is all I found. Uh, before I go, I'm going to let you all know that I do plan on going to the Water Waterloo uh, video game swap uh, on April 6th at St. George Hall. Uh, I'll put an ad for it over here. Um, if you are coming or if you're in the area and you plan on going, let me know in the comments that you're going to be there. I'd love to meet up with any YouTubers that are in the area uh, or if you're coming into the area, uh, let me know. We can hang out or we can meet up at the show. Um, that would be awesome. Uh, so be sure to let me know down there. Uh, that is it. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you next time.